y'all welcome to my channel grateful creations well i am going to be showing you guys how to prep these There's two different ways I did them. I did them with the uh, press and seal on the back and I just put some tape around here. I left a little lip. My hands are just filthy. <laughs> the next painting I'm doing, I, it's all my leftover colors. So I did take some uh, painter's tape and just balled it up and put it in there. So this is one way I did it. The other way I did it, pretty much the same you know with the lip here but I used a, a paper plate so we'll have to see how this goes anyhow I'm gonna do two clocks one in white and then the other one in black with the same colors here's my colors this is oh well this is cobalt cobalt blue hue from Equitex. this is uh, Pepio Studio Acrylics in green yellow. Iridescent green yellow. Yep, got that right. This is a mixture of Amster. This is a mixture. Cut. <laughs> this is a mixture of Amsterdam and that's um, a greenish blue mixed with glisten. It's really pretty. And I do have my favorite, one of my favorites, pinwheel. Yeah, so we're gonna try this with the white. Oh, I also have, ah, uh, this is Glisten on its own. Oh, I just saw a blob. Oh, I got it, I think. Yeah. This is a mixture of Twinkle and Sequ Sequence together. I just had used them before and I decided to mix them together. So I'm just going to pour my paint down. This is Multi Pro 150. I 
think it's, that's what it's called. That's enough. That's more than enough. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I've done it now. Okay. So I'm going to put the blue down first. I'm going to just do a, a bloom. It's kind of thick. I run out of Gisonia, and the last time I tried using something else, it started to split, so I wasn't happy with it. Okay, so now we're gonna put down our glisten, and then green. And then the mixture of the two. And this is, oh, I love this color. It is so cool, guys. Oops. And pinwheel. Okay, I'm going to use black as my cell activator. that's not too much and I've got my Berta coming out hi fan cool this come up yeah I like it a lot I think I'm just gonna spin it let's move some stuff out of the way so I have got a lot of I lost my green there's a little bit of green coming up um, the pinwheel is really showing and it's starting to uh, let me give it a little help that sit for a minute so I'm making these actually for the fluid art boutique I'm going to be selling a few items in my in my class oh I love the, that Amsterdam greenish blue and glisten is so special it's my favorite combination and I love the lacing on this okay here we go Geronimo Oh, it's off center. You know, I did sell one of my clocks right off my wall. Oh, see, that's why Karen does that. <laughs> That's why she puts her finger in there, get the extra off. It's not bad. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. Cause I've got a lot of that uh, combination I put in there. That is, look at the lacing on that. And I like this too. Um, wow. not tilting it. I'm a, I have to admit, I'm a horrible tilter. I'm not a good tilter at all. And here I go. I'm going to try and tilt. <laughs> I think there's enough paint off of it. It's not moving. Well, good. So I don't have that to uh, contend with. There we go. There's my first clock. There we go. That might end up on my wall. <laughs> I'm missing one clock. Oh, I don't know if I see. No, that's not. I thought it was a booger, but it's not. Yeah, I like this a lot. Real pretty. Okay. I'll 
set up and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. This is um, Color to Go from Sherwin Williams and I had them tinted in tricorn black. It is available now back in uh, the Sherwin Williams stores, both in Canada and the US. It had gone away for quite some time. I think I'm down to the last bit here. So we shall get moving here. Just pour it right in the center. This I've noticed is a little bit thinner than um, the color place, which that's like real super thick anyways. And it's also a little bit thinner than, whoa, Wilbur, there we go. See, it is thinner, you can tell. It came off real quick. All right, here we go. Then white. Not a lot of white. And here we go. I put the white down. Yeah. I wasn't going to, but I'm glad I did. I'm just going to let that sit for a minute. Yeah, green's not showing up at all. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna have to go to bed pretty soon. I have just been burning the candle at both ends these days. I'm so excited about the Fluid Art Boutique. I gotta tell you, I'm just, I mean, more shipments are coming in for supplies and stuff. And I'm like, oh, we're gonna have so much fun. Oh, I'm excited, very excited. And meeting all the, the lovely ladies. Yeah, just, I'm, I'm just astounded still. Okay, those guys look kind of big. I'm hoping that they don't, because they're in the center, maybe they won't stretch out too much. But everything's kind of going inward anyway, so I'm just gonna give it a minute or two. Sometimes you have to have a little patience with these, you know? <laughs> Sometimes we don't have that patience. Um, I don't know. Yes, anybody who's taking my class for the shadow pearl pours, there's a, an awesome surprise that you're going to get because um, that secret ingredient, we'll be making those and it'll be taking them home. And actually, I've got uh, enough supplies that you guys can take home your pearl mix as well. So, yeah, lots of goodies. All right, I think that looks good enough. Yes, it's not moving, good. <laughs> That's why I did the white one first. <laughs> yeah, actually, I like how this is happening in, inside, right in the center, right where the, uh, the hands are gonna go. So you guys will have to let me know which one you like better, the black or the white. Ooh. Ooh, this is gonna be tough.
just want to make sure there's enough paint off. It's still coming off the sides here, so I think we're pretty much done though. Yep. And the good thing about this paper plate idea underneath, um, it's going to be easy when you do your, um, your resin because you just can set it right down. You don't have to worry about um, propping it up on anything because it's already propped up. So that's a good hack for today. Yay. All right. I'm liking this. I'm going to leave it. Yep. Hope it dries well. <laughs> Famous last words. All right, guys, I'm gonna take you guys down for a close up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, <clears throat> this is the black one. And it has a lot of shimmer. Oops, sorry. Kinda hard to see. Um, I like that part right there. It's so cool, the lacing. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that. Ooh, la, la. Let me see if I can tilt it up to see if it can see the shimmer a bit more. Nope, I'm not going to risk it. The camera's not really doing it justice, but right here. Whenever you have like those interference colors with the black cell activator, it just oh, sparkles. Loving it. And here's the white one. And it, I think it's equally as nice. Yep. And here's that area. I really love that. <laughs> I know I should have probably put my finger in it, but you know, sometimes it's happy accidents happen. And I'm very grateful for those. So if you haven't signed up for classes for the Fluid Art Boutique, I know I've been chatting it up quite a bit, but um, there's a flash sale going on right now, and it's, I think it's $20 off each class. Yeah. Oh, God, I love that combination. Glisten. And you can make this as dark or light as you want. It's Glisten and Amsterdam Greenish Blue. This one I've made kind of light, but it's uh, it's real special. I think I have a mosquito on me. I did. Look at that lacing. Pretty. All right. So, please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ciao for now.